Thank you very much. Today, I'm announcing uh, several critical actions that my administration is taking to confront a problem that we have right here at home. We fight wars that are 6,000 miles away, wars that we should have never been in, in many cases. But we don't control our own border. So we're going to confront the national security crisis on our southern border. And we're going to do it one way or the other. We have to do it. Not because it was a campaign promise, which it is. It was one of many, by the way. Not my only one. And you know all about the summit. It'll be in Vietnam, Hanoi. And uh, we've done a lot. But one of the things I said I have to do and I want to do is border security, because we have tremendous amounts of drugs flowing into our country, much of it coming from the southern border. When you look and when you listen to politicians, uh, in particular certain Democrats, they say it all comes through the port of entry. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's just a lie. It's all a lie. They say walls don't work. Walls work 100 percent. Him or his family in the United States, uh, they have on the other side of the wall. And they had 23 murders. It's a lot. So I'm going to be signing a national emergency. And it's been signed many times before. It's been signed by other presidents. From 1977 or so, it gave the presidents the power. There's rarely been a problem. They sign it. Nobody cares. I guess they weren't very exciting. But nobody cares. They sign it for far less important things in some cases, in many cases. We're talking about an invasion of our country with drugs, with human traffickers, with all types of criminals and gangs. Many times before, it's been signed by other presidents.